This episode contains descriptions of sexual assault and sexual violence. For anonymous, confidential help, 24-7, please call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233 or go to thehotline.org. Welcome to the bad boy pod, talking bad boy bars, make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag. Having conversations that a bad boy mad, sit down, relax, kick back, have a blast, enjoy the bad boy pod, brought to you by Lady Pod. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I'm like, I have a tummy ache a little bit, but it's like, maybe that's oh, just because no. I drank too much last night. You had a vomcom. <laughs> I had a vom.com. I really, I really had a vom.com. I mean, it wasn't like too bad. It was really just like one hour of like some pure vomit. And then I took, I decided to go on like a little jaunt. I walked like up and down the block and I think it helped just like clear my mind. I tried to, you know, (laughs) connect. I tried to like do like a little meditation walk being like my feet are touching the ground. The earth is supporting you. Oh, I've never done that. I've never talked to my feet. (laughs) I mean, well, I'm not shading you, uh, it literally at all. You should give it a shot. I talk to my feet every day, every night, every <laughs> every chance I get. I have a nice long combo with my little feet. <laughs> wow, no, but Kevin is so loud today. Yeah, Kevin is feeling himself. Hot girl summer, that's what Kevin's saying. Ugh, hot girl April, I will say. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, hot, yeah. Hot Kevin summer. Um, well, I'll just talk about hot girl summer. What about average looking girl april that's what i have to You're say right <laughs> my name is zoe klar and <laughs> god, <laughs> god damn it i'm average i mean <laughs> and i'm julia davidovich and god damn it i'm better than average thank I'll you i'm actually thank better you. than everyone and it's my um it's just one of those days you know like i'm sweating i'm gonna i'm having the hot flashes i'm like going through pre-menopause it's just happening are you changing? Are you going through a change? Um, also, duvet update. We threw it away. <laughs> real fans want to know. Yeah. Um, real fan update. New comforter coming, I guess, or what? Well, you know, not you. We're going to wait. I mean, it's just the cover. So we're going to wait gonna until wait. probably next season. Um, although maybe they're like, you know, good pricing right now because not everyone is buying a duvet cover. We're different. It's like when a pet dies, you're just not ready. Yeah, um, I'm not quite ready. Um, <laughs> also, I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna let the duvet live without a top for the next year. Oh God, no! Um, and it's about to get a little colder. And by that, I mean I don't know, like in the 17s, it said maybe a nine at night. Oh fuck me! I'm sorry. I'm saying Celsius. Um, I, <laughs> I was like 17. <laughs> Um, I not you know what I don't switch out. I think we've talked about this. I'm tired of living wrong. I just that, don't want to do fucking Fahrenheit. Translate that into English. Um, well, it's going to be 90 degrees a week from Monday. Okay, no, you're right. It's going to be in the 60s this week. That'll be nice. There we go. Yeah, in the 17s. But at night it gets cold. Yeah, but I like that. That's all I'm saying. Okay. My name is yesterday Zoe Clarin. We, Give me the <laughs> night. We, uh... Yesterday we made the most delicious meal that we've ever like just spontaneously <laughs> made. What? <laughs> Am I in a weird mood? I feel like I haven't spoken to anyone in two weeks. Simply not true because we had a poor chang. But oh, yeah. Um, what, what were you saying? Oh, no, just the way you said it, that we made the tastiest meal together. And I thought that was both cute and funny. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, we made fried flatbreads. Like, Ooh, we made yummy. flatbreads. And I think they were spot, probably supposed to be more like a pita, like a, like a, like a non. They're supposed to be more like a non texture. But yummy. we pressed them thin and fried them. And holy smokes, they were the best. Holy smokes, you heard it here first. They were the best. <laughs> we'll put a picture of the slimer like, if we have one. Oh, I think Jerry probably took a photo. Oh my God, I would eat those up. I mean, I guess that's kind of a good boy, but whatever. Really wow. good boy. You would eat those up. I can't wait to hear you're a bad boy. You were already griping, but you didn't give anything away. Yeah, I mean, too bad I spent the entire night vomiting up that delicious meal we made. Oh, fuck. That's, I that know. does stink, I will say. And fresh arugula that I grew. Fresh arugs that you grew, yes. <laughs> you threw up. Oh my gru- god, a grugula! I grugula. No, yeah. you grugula it everywhere. I feel great. 
I feel like perfect. <laughs> I really gurgle it all over the toilet. Um, that really does sound like something a Jewish grandmother would call throwing oh, up. Oh, definitely. A gurgula. A gurgula. Yummy. Ew. Did you have a gurgula bucket growing up? <laughs> <laughs> It was just a mixing bowl, though, because mine was definitely, okay, Julia's going to spit up. I was, like, so afraid I was going to throw up my water. <laughs> um, I needed a, my griggle bowl, <laughs> but it was, yeah, definitely just a mixing bowl. It was definitely um, a mixing bowl. Yeah, it was always brown or just stainless steel. What, oh, yeah, mine was definitely stainless steel to keep that temperature right where you want it. Mine um, was porous, so you could bake with it after and make it ooh, smell like puke. Great. No, I feel like it was like, you know, that that mixing bowl was the only one that was kept upstairs. Yeah. You know what? You're right. Did it double as a toilet or what? Just kidding. I don't think um, the parents would ever reuse that. <laughs> no, it didn't double as a toilet. Not mine personally. But if your families did, please email dianabadboypod.com because yeah. she's just been testing out different barf bucket theories. We want to know your mobile toilet stories. We want to know your barf bucket stories. I will Did, say, you, though. Were you always a make it to the bathroomer? I was just about to say that I'm very good at making it to the bathroom. Honestly, me too. I'm not sure like, where that came from. Considering I was raised with the crutch of a barf bucket, you would think that I <laughs> wouldn't be able to make it to the bathroom. <laughs> Ugh. The crutch you know? of a barf bucket. You're right. I mean, they <laughs> really spoiled you there. They really um, spoiled me, but I make it every single time. I even do when it's this, a close call. Even when it's a close call, it's rough. I I have definitely not made it at least once in my life. And I remember, do you ever do it right in your hand in the hallway? Oh, yeah. That's what happened to me. That was beautiful. Um, that was actually One, in literally the apartment I'm living in now. So not don't remember how that happened. I you maybe vomit it into your thing. hand there? I did. Uh, where did you put it? it? Like, do you throw it out I, in the garbage or? I don't remember if it was the toilet. You, or you made the it to sink. the toilet after. Ah, debatable. Not sure. Okay. Not sure. <laughs> not sure if I went straight for the sink. Uh, <laughs> well, we will we'll have to debate. go back in time. Yeah, we won't okay, debate. Let's let's check the tapes on that. Um, I one time I didn't make it. One time I didn't make it when um. Me and my mom were driving. And we were like, I felt sick the entire ride. I don't remember how long it was, but it was probably like 30 minutes. I felt sick the entire ride. And I really thought I was going to throw up the entire time. And then I was maybe like 11 or 12 at this point. And then Are you emotion more... sickness, Mary? Or... No, I'm not. Are you? Just an off. Mm, emotion I Morton. say so. Emotion Morton. Why not? Yeah, I'm not. Um, really. And then when we were turning up my street is when I finally threw up in the front seat of the car all over the place. You felt so comfortable. You were like, <laughs> I was we're finally so, home. I was like, we're, we're home. I'm ready. <laughs> um, so that was a mistake. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, well, yummy. Anyway, okay, email so Diane. <laughs> she loves barf stuff. <laughs> that was a good little barf story. Um, so yeah, definitely email Diane. Who are your bad boys on the block? Or boy? <sighs> Gosh, do I have any except for my s little sore arm for my vaccine, I guess? Oh, yeah. Two girls got their Johnsons in. Wow. <laughs> we really got our Johnsons. <laughs> we Yikes. really got our Johnsons. Um, Yummy. People hate on the Johnson & Johnson, but, uh, you know, we have not. We don't know. Maybe in the future there will be a reason to hate on it. Or maybe there will be a reason to hate on another one. Who can say? Honestly, I cannot wait for everything to be revealed in six to 16 years from now. <laughs> if, I mean, if our I little planet is still wait. here. I cannot <laughs> wait to get Johnson Johnson boosters every six months for the rest of my life. That is oh. really the joy of living at this point. I cannot wait for the third Johnson to come down <laughs> and strike me dead. That's all I want. Um, okay, so my bad boy on the block this week is I have like a little tongue pimple. Like at the tip of my Ooh. tongue, What's there's like on? a little painful pimple dollop. It's like a sty. I don't know what it is, but Ooh. it's definitely made worse from smoking weed. S certainly. Certainly. Um you can really feel it tingle when you take a hit. Um, so it just like adds had a little a, something. I feel like I've had that tingly little pimple. But it's like, why won't it go away? I've had it now for two days. I think it's a, uh, one of those things kink, that come a in the kinkle? sign. A kinkle. Is that what it's yeah, called? No, I don't think so. Sore. Is that? A, cool, a kink kinkle. Sore, oh, a cold sore. Uh, you're right, though. A kinkle. I think it's, I think it's a kinkle. It I think it's kinky. Diane's kinkle. 
It's it's the tip cankle. It happens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. And it's so but you can't pop it like a pimple. But it sort of looks like one. Like it has a white it's a white head. Yeah. It's like a calloused fingertip in a way. You ever get one of those? I have a lifelong calloused fingertip. A calloused fingertip? And that's what it feels like to me. Do you not have that? I have it on my pointer finger on my right. It's like right like, here. It's never going to go away. On the tip? Yeah, I'll put on the Slimer. It's disgusting. Okay. It's really and just the And if I can tip. get a picture of my tongue pimple, I'll put it in the Slimer. <laughs> Yummy. Wow. We are hot ladies <laughs> on parade. It's spring, baby. Maybe it's Tits a Johnson & Johnson little thing. Oh, yeah. I guess it's a Johnson & Johnson summer for us. We're feeling <laughs> yeah, sexy. Yeah, it certainly is. It certainly is. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm feeling pretty sexy. It's weird. I don't I don't know. I don't feel I don't know. I'm not ready. <laughs> You're not ready. You're not ready. I mean, I'm certainly not ready to whip off my mask in a fucking restaurant. Um, no, but no, 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 no. I but in think, my yeah. I mean, are we going to record the pod IRL? I like can't imagine. Oh. I like you haven't thought about this. Email Diane what you think we should do. Yeah, I mean, we should probably we'll keep it remote. We'll put for up now. a poll. We'll keep it remote for now. We'll keep it remote I mean, for gonna- now. We're not going to be safe for a few weeks anyway, but yeah. yeah. And like, I wouldn't want to make you get into an Uber every week and like, you know, it's not me getting into an Uber. I it's can't, not time. I can't believe. can't believe how many Ubers I used to get into. You're about to get into Ubers again, baby. Ooh. Mama's Ubing. Mama's Ubing. I haven't Ubed in a sack though. I mean, is Ubed mama going to go on an airplane? Mm, not really raring to do that right now. Um, no, me neither. Yeah, I'll wait for my mom to come down here. How about that? Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. That's smart. Okay, email like, You kick it off. Email um. Name. Okay, so we have a respectful badonkadonk to DMX, <sighs> my fellow Yonkers friend. Absolute nice person. Yeah. He is a nice person. He is. Um, he is, is respectful the reverse? I, I think, think we so. do that. Yeah. And a solidly disrespectful bad boy in the hole but donk oh. donk too prince philip wow who kicked Incredible it at the for... ripe age at 99 i cannot really the, truly the worst people on earth live to be forever i know hate really keeps them alive well i feel like they're just like so it sheltered like them. they're not they're not in contact with anything that might kill them yeah, plus, like, isn't he part of the gang of folks that gets their blood recycled? I mean, if you're getting your blood recycled. Do you hear Jerry listening to Netflix without his headphones on? Oh, wow. What's he watching? New episodes of Nailed It? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Do you hear, hear what that he said. He no. said, I did it because I wanted <laughs> attention from you. And then I got excited. And I was like, wow, attention from me? That's something you Aww. desire? And then he said, Girlfriend no, it was an accident. Year. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Classic take yeah. back on hot spring girl summer. Average girl, Are you kidding me? Average girl April. So have average a great girl average girl April. Um, okay. And no real bad boy updates, I don't think. No, I mean, just that that really decrepit man is in the hole now. So that's cool. He's in the hole. He's in the hole. Is and if you getting... didn't get the opportunity to drag him into the hole on um, our Instagram Ugh. story at bad boy podcast, give her a follow. If you feel like it, I don't care. Um, it's your life. <laughs> it's your account. It's like really your feed, your algorithm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, if you want to just curate your Instagram follows the way you yeah. want, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. here to tell you what to do. No, but if you like feel like follow, if you're like, what do they mean when they say we're gonna pop it in Wilmer? I don't know. Hmm. Give the what give the be? IG account a follow, and maybe you'll figure it out. Maybe you won't. Maybe you're not very bright. It's not my. It's not my place. You're right. It is certainly not our place. No. Why is my brother? <gasps> Ew. He's texting me about the IRS. No thanks. Oh no. Um, take a shot every time your brother texts you about the IRS, though. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, um. There are some Matt Gates updates, actually. Um, I think Matt the Gates dates. <laughs> there are always Matt Gates dates. Basically, he's just looking guiltier and guiltier <clears throat> by the minute. We won't go into specifics <sighs> because honestly, I didn't read about it because fuck that guy. There was some the guy, his associate Joel Greenberg. There was a Venmo transaction that went from Gates to Joel, and then Joel to three women and the venmo the venmo like notes said like college or like tuition stuff like that um and it was the same amount of money that 
it was like the same amount of money that Matt Gates Venmoed him. He then distributed out to these women. So that's super suspicious. Um, <sighs> yeah, no shade to to the game, but like. <sighs> fucking gross matt gates is so creepy i know he's really gross and i really hope that he um he's being investigated by the you know whatever all of the things that the house i mean democrats are in control of this shit so hopefully you know they'll be able to get him out but i don't trust i don't trust i don't trust I don't trust. I don't trust. I don't trust. Yeah, I just don't trust. (laughs) You're right. I simply don't trust. So that's the Matt Gates update. Um, Fuck that guy. I don't think there was anything else. Gates of hell. Um, Yeah, I don't think any huge bad boys in the movie. It's just a lot of death around. uh, Who does think we get to wake up to Prince Philip news, though? I didn't think that was going to happen. You know, like when it happened, I said, duh, but I was not. I did not go to bed expecting it the next day. Certainly not. And like, it is kind of a nice surprise when the internet unites in the morning. Oh, I love a morning unite. It's like an earthquake, but Mm -hmm. it's more, it's terrifying because yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only good news when Prince Philip dies. Too bad it's never going to happen again. You're right. Oh, you're right. It can't (laughs) happen the second time. And that's the biggest crime here. Okay. So let's move on to our bad boys of the week. I guess it's a mini blitz. It's a brotherly blitz. It's a brotherly blitz, but like honestly, they've done so much that it's hard to keep them straight. Like I, I don't know which one is which. Oh, I do. Um, I it's a Mister. It's a Mister. YouTube your brotherhood, Logan and Jake wow. Paul. Oh God, brothers who YouTube certainly brothers who certainly create brothers content. Who- I don't think I've ever watched one of their videos all the way through. I could not tell you any of their work. Um, except the like suicide force video. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> which duh. So okay, we'll start with Logan Paul because he's older and to show the older sibling some respect. Um, so Logan You're is right. a whopping twenty six years old, and he has a net worth of nineteen million dollars. Fun game alert. Guess how wow. many YouTube subscriptions subscribers he has? Hmm, this is a fun game. Yeah, um, I'm gonna say four million. I can't tell if that's Girl. overshooting. 22.9 million i don't know i don't know what i don't know what a lot is that's I really a lot don't. i mean he's like on the list i mean that is a lot even, um okay. yeah so he is a he started out on vine along with his brother who is also blonde um they're both blonde so they started out on vine they moved into a they moved into a house together in los angeles and they were like we started the first content house which i don't think is true uh certainly not true but like what is the name of it again the 10 something it was like like the 10 club the 10 team i don't remember (laughs) yeah um yeah no it's definitely cult adjacent and you know they throw like the (laughs) sickest parties but like i don't think the person who invented the first content house should brag certainly not i think they should be tried i mean first of all because it was diane she started (laughs) She started the first, what what was her ideal? She started the first Neopets um, Ooh, content house. Yeah. She was a huge influencer on Neopets. Wow, look at the lighting on my face. Yeah, you look very angelic today. I'm an angel. angel. So that's just... Why did Robin Thicke just pop in your back hair or something? Robin Thicke just popped in. Um, Sully did not notice. Neopets content house. Okay, yeah, so they had an apartment in Hollywood that like they, you know, drop shit from the balcony and stuff you know classic hilarious pranks but in 2017 (laughs) was when logan paul had his real oopsie doodle um he went on a trip to japan and to you know just film some vlogs he did some random shit in japan including riding a forklift at like a market okay and he was he was also did a video where he was throwing pokeballs at citizens and threw one at a police officer uh, he makes really bad choices he makes bad choices are all cops bastards in japan yeah i don't know <laughs> i assume <laughs> so i assume i mean so. i feel like it's a worldwide message but like yeah, yeah i wouldn't yeah. throw a pokeball at one no i certainly wouldn't it feels racist i think it is i think uh, it is yeah oh god I've so seen- then I was this Logan or Paul or the other this one? Is See, Logan. I'm gonna call both of them Paul. <laughs> I know it sucks that Paul's in like also a name. Like, no, not okay by me. 
Um, this okay. is Logan, the older one. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Anyway, I watched, I'd like fast forwarded through this weird documentary that that person made about Jake. Jake, that's the other one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting this right. Who I you think might it. be worse. I, he is worse. I, I had the right. same, I have the same realization. Like, okay, so then also in Japan is when the infamous suicide forest video happened when Logan Paul went to this forest that is famous for people killing themselves there to record a video and they were going to do some like spending the night in the suicide forest like we're camping in there like definitely exploiting it because it's obviously you know the whole video that he made was kind of like making light of it and then they found someone who had killed themselves there who had hung themselves there and hanged <laughs> hung fuck i don't remember I feel but like who it's had hanged it's hanged i always if there's it's anything hanged. i know yeah, it's hanged. It's hanged. Um, and he filmed this person who had killed themselves and put that video on his YouTube page and sort of was like making jokes and laughing, like showed this video and then was like giggling about it with his group of friends. I, um, just, I don't get it. I don't. I don't get the so, thought process. <laughs> so obviously there was a lot of backlash. Um, and he ended up removing the video and being like, I'm sorry. And he donated a bunch of money to suicide organizations and like, you know, whatever, good for him. But like, it was, it was bad. Not only like, did you put someone's like, first of all, you're an asshole for vlogging in any kind of nature because it's annoying. That's very annoying. annoying. It's very annoying. Second of all, I mean, if you're going there with the intent of trying to find people who are about to kill themselves or killing themselves, I mean, also you're a piece of shit. Yeah. I don't know. And then on top of it, when you find someone doing that and then you put it on the internet for the intention of clout, I guess, and views. It's yeah. just so sick. Plus, you're making money off of it. So, right, I mean, all right. of it is That's just gross, the, I guess. That, the monetization also is like, ooh. So, in 2018, YouTube suspended all ads on his channel due to a, quote, pattern um, of behavior, including perpetuating the Tide Pod Challenge. Huh. Um, he <clears throat> removed a fish from his pond to give it CPR. Gross. So, he killed a fish for gross no reason. Gross and bad. Um, and he also put up a video of him tasing two dead rats. Why? Don't know. Wow. Couldn't Incredible tell Incredible job. It's like, you know, I feel like <clears throat> Logan and Jake Paul fall into the same territory that Jackass did. In a way, mm-hmm. like, they just do dumb shit like that. But Jackass, like, they had to... They were dealing with the restrictions of cable TV and, like, things that they literally could not do because it would be illegal to film it. And these two have no boundaries. They're just doing this for whoever will listen on YouTube. And there's, like, you know, they can remove their ads, but they just have, like, a direct funnel to put their dumb cuckoo ideas on the internet. (sighs) And, like... I don't know when you bring animals into it and even yeah. though people don't think like rats and fish are, and I'm no, I'm no enormous animal rights activist, don't but like lie. you it, love animals, you throw paint I on do. fur. Yeah. Daily. And then, you know, love it. And I'm saving you cockroaches actually. My leather couch. Oh yeah. You're right. I did. I set it a flame. And um, what, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah. But like that weird kind of, uh, murdery behavior that they show or the serial yeah. killer hints where you're just like oh you like torturing things mm-hmm. that you seem a little fucked up to me mm-hmm. and Ooh, I mean is that donkey like... to say <laughs> that you no little... that's like I like that it's very no, fucked and up he he has said he was like I lack compassion he blames it on football which maybe yikes I mean are we talking about which Logan which which, which Logan? Logan 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 okay great yeah, the older the older Logan. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So he blames it on football, but now they're both getting into boxing. Although I think Jake Paul, the the younger Logan, actually is better at boxing than Logan. So anyway, what I learned from his shitty shitty documentary that I fast forward through most of, yeah, um, 
I think one of them used to do, do wrestling in high school. Mm. Jake, at least. I don't know about the other one. Well, good for him. Congrats, boys. Yeah. Um, okay, amazing. So let's move on to Jake. Jake is 24. He has a net worth of $11.5 million, which is $8 million less than Too Logan. Too much. And he has 20.3 million YouTube subscribers, which is two million. Two million. Well, that's actually a lot. Whatever. Which is two million less than Logan. Whatever. So he's less. He's YouTube slightly less. YouTube nepotism. Famous. Yeah. So Jake Paul has had a lot of things. A lot Jake of Paul things. Has had a lot of things. Um, in 2018. He was cast on some Disney show, and halfway through, uh, he was fired because he started throwing these crazy house parties in his neighborhood in L.A., and the neighborhood like council drafted an ordinance to get him to stop because his address was leaked to the public so people were just coming and like driving up to the street and honking and like having parties all night and so he was taken off that show and you know he's clearly like a liability right he's a party weasel <laughs> true he looks like one too yeah he's like the embodiment of that weird ball with the weasel attached to it that just like spins. oh you know what I'm talking about? yes well, i do what were he those really for is. cats <clears throat> humans i can't humans. babies baby cats they I really flop tell. around those they weasels. are very phallic it's gross yeah why like, are they like this that? flopping around hairy thing on my floor <laughs> with a ball yeah, not a f also not a fun toy not a fun toy not a fun toy no. don't buy no. that for your child i i completely agree like no one needs that it, it also like it can <sighs> yeah those bother me now i'm livid about that if it's not card card, if it's not called party weasel though, then canceled. Canceled. <laughs> um, he definitely also had some other weird videos, like the one that you sent. I can't. Which was like one of these like countdown videos of like the worst things the Perfect. Paul brothers have ever done. Can and we listen to that? Because that was great. Let, let's sure. just listen to the dad one. Okay, we'll listen to the dad one. I didn't realize how problematic his father was. My father. I mean, it makes sense. Um, I mean, hell yeah. But I didn't realize he was like around and like one of the brothers, essentially. You know what I mean? Yeah, he is just one like of the how brothers. Chris is kind of one of the gals. Yeah, yeah. Um, Chris is one of the gals. And I'm actually watching the season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians early TV talk. Ooh. Okay, let me fast forward to the right TV moment. talk. Never tried. I mean, maybe I've watched an app with you. Share screen. Okay, yeah. So this is like a countdown of all of the not all of worst. The, I would say maybe the worst. No, you're right. And maybe not, not even up to date. Um, it's a countdown of the ten worst Paul moments, and a lot of comments in the YouTube are like, "How did you find only 10? So you're right. <laughs> and this is the first one on this video. Number 10, Jake Paul versus Dad Kissing Competition. In a vlog uploaded on the Dream 19th of May 2017, Team 10 and Jake's father are seen arguing about who the best kisser is. Now my dad is like, yo, I'm a no. better kisser than you. They decide to put this to the test by kissing the same girl and this letting her girl. decide. They claim that the Can't. judge is open to and the concept. And they're calling her a girl, so which is creepy. she's getting a shout creepy. out in return. The video ends with both Jake and his father no. kissing the same girl <laughs> just seconds again. apart. This is both an uncomfortable watch and a questionable content decision okay, by Jake. Okay, I mean, I hate to say it, but Tonight, Jake Paul is clearly a better kisser and than his dad. And this wasn't the last <laughs> Jake Paul kissing contest either. Number nine, exaggerated color. Donkey. <laughs> oh yeah, that hilarious. Um, so stressful. Also, when Logan Paul like pretended to invent these glasses that made him no longer colorblind and he had the most extra reaction oh in the God. fucking world because he said he was red green colorblind and then he put on these glasses and watched a sunset and like shed a single tear and it was the most dramatic dramatic bullshit i've ever seen so he doesn't actually have any he might any... have like some light colorblind i mean it's not like he can't see color he probably like you know people who are colorblind like can't if there's like a bunch of green and like someone, I don't know. It's not as extreme as not being able to see color. It's like not being able to distinguish between certain colors as well. Like his reaction was extra and stupid. 
Got it. I did watch. Yeah, I definitely watched that part in the ten, the big countdown. Yeah, the of, biggest uh, countdown. Maybe of them one all. eighth of it, the worst offenses. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, Jake Paul did this video where he and his dad both kissed the same girl to see who was a better kisser, and the dad did this weird thing, which obviously you couldn't tell from the recording, where he like <laughs> snuck up from behind her and like Ew. reached around with his head to kiss her. I Ugh. I can. It was like. Very horrifying to watch, but I'm definitely putting in the slider. I mean, look, like, I do weird shit for the internet, too. Don't get me wrong. But if I went up to my mom and was like, Mom, let's kiss the same person to see who's a better kisser, I feel like she would decline the invite. (laughs) She would, A, decline the invite. Uh, And, like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people would intervene before that. Why are you so competitive um, with your dad about who's a better kisser? Also, why does your dad look so much like Louis C.K.? he does i'll give you this one i'll give you this one <laughs> thank you thank you thank you i mean this is <laughs> finally this, is, this one's for the books but i will i will admit that that person does look like that person awesome white people are disgusting and we all look alike <sighs> what can we say um it is our gift mm-hmm. um he also very obviously said the n-word um oh, no shock doodles there okay in May of this year, during the George Floyd protests, he was seen at a mall in Arizona where looting took place, and him and his friends went into a P.F. Chang's. What? Right. Okay. Yeah. No. I was going to say, they were there for food, were they not? Yeah. They were at P.F. Chang's. They were were certainly not looting the mall. Oh, I mean, I guess it definitely turned into that. But at the same time, were they there to create content or just eat a meal? I can't. They were there anymore. to create content. They say they were there. They were filming a video about the protests going on, and they were going to make something. And they were just documenting what they were seeing because they're news <sighs> reporters. Essentially, they didn't say that, but that I'm whatever. Funniest, that. funniest, funniest uh, excuse is when people say that they're documenting something. Like, no, Which, you're fucking not. There I'm sorry, are only but like, some cases where that's actually something that you need to do. I'm sure Jake Paul is documenting him and his friends being fucking idiots at P.F. Chang's while there's like a literal race war going on outside. I would say that the pattern would dictate that uh, usually they're acting like idiots when they're recording themselves. So, yeah, I mean, it's safe to say. Also, they claim they didn't do anything wrong. Um, but it's like these are, you know, uh, what was so fr- an, a frustrating part about the protests over the summer were like people like Jake Paul were looting these malls while, you know, very legitimate protests were going on and they don't get blamed for it. You know, it's like it immediately falls on all of the black people protesting and not the white people who are doing the property damage, not that property like who gives a shit, but still. Right. Yeah. And (laughs) I just can't, I I just couldn't frame him as someone who really was on the right side of anything as he has never usually traditionally been. So as he has never been. And he claims he was not looting in Arizona, but the local (laughs) authorities and the FBI both got involved. So that tells me that he was. Um, And the FBI raided his home in Arizona and his home in Calabasas. And in Calabasas, they seized multiple firearms out of his home in Calabasas. You know, he has absolute raided my home in Scottsdale and Calabasas energy when you look at his face. That is he, that is the one he look he has, has. He does have that Arizona face going, um, although they're from Ohio, I think, but whatever. They really are. They really are. So, yeah, uh, they seized... I'm not sure what exactly is going on with that investigation. I assume they have enough money that the charges will be dropped. And um, they're like rich white boys who I don't think they're going to have a problem getting off the hook for looting in Arizona. Even if you have a fucking (sighs) machine gun in your Calabasas home. Yeah, it feels like the boys will be fine on that charge. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. The boys. The boys. Um, Okay, so in July during COVID, he threw a big old party. Um, and the spicy? like mayor, yeah, spicy party in Calabasas. And the mayor was like, the mayor was basically very pissed. So the mayor was pissed. He also said that, uh, COVID was a hoax. Oh, good. Well, good. 
I'm glad he's on record for that. (laughs) I know. I'm glad he. I'm glad he uh, told the Daily Beast. I think it was like, oh jeez. I know. (laughs) Like, how would he know? You're right. How would he know that? How would he know that? Doctor. No. You're right. No. Like he doesn't. He doesn't get the news. Look at the people who are saying COVID is a hoax, and you know that they have no legitimate science background. They don't know anything about it. Safe to say. Safe to say. Anyway, um, the hoax is over, so eat my ass. <laughs> he also has been very recently accused a um, a fellow YouTuber slash TikToker named Justine Paradise came forward saying that Jake Paul assaulted her at his house and she had signed an NDA. So she thought like she thought she couldn't talk about the assault, but essentially she went to this house for a party. They like went up, they like had hung out a couple times and like kissed and stuff. But at this party, they like were hooking up and Jake was like trying to go further with her. And she kept saying, no, 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 no. And eventually (laughs) he, um, forced her to perform oral sex on him yeah great um so that's a recent thing that happened with um jake paul specifically and he has another ex-girlfriend who was in the same content house the 10 club whatever their fucking youtube group was called the 10 boys Um, who knows okay so Alyssa violet was in the youtube creator group with jake paul and they were dating but it was like maybe for camera maybe not um, but he was always hooking up with other girls in front of her, and she claims that he was emotionally ab- and uh, mentally abusive, but not physically Yikes. abusive. Yikes. So that's um, that's sort of the big Paul of it all. The big Paul of it all. The big um, Paul. They, they fucking suck. And I don't think anyone with over 10 million YouTube subscribers should have a gun. You're right. They should really check that. Add that. Add that to the list, Joe Biden. Boss man Biden. Please do that. Boss because man Biden. Add it to the list. Because, add it to the list. You know, it's a real sus. It's a GBBO sus for sure. Yeah. No. Oh, absolutely. Boss man Biden. Who he came in strong with that. Uh, where do we fall in chat now? Where? Oh, he's bad, right? Yeah, I feel like he's gone. I think badder. he's bad. I feel like he's really rotting it out, rotting from the core. Do you think Logan or Jake Paul have gotten COVID? I do. Oh yeah, at least once. They've they've, they've definitely Yeah. They don't think they've really gotten it though or something. But they've also probably gotten vaccinated through rich means. Um Yeah, for they sure. definitely got they definitely got anally vaccinated in the la- like probably before nurses. Yeah, probably. Like that probably like before the, dentists. Like this week's episode of Law and Order Organized Crime, they got it through sneaky rich means. Sneaky Rich Means, oh, that was a good app. I didn't finish, I, I mean, early TV talk. I didn't get to finish us for you. That's okay, Oopsie because you watched Organized Crime. I feel like last week when we talked about Organized Crime, you weren't enthusiastic about it. And I was thinking about it. I think you're gaslighting me. <laughs> oh, my God, early TV talk. I haven't <laughs> shut the door on <laughs> the brothers yet. Early TV talk, you're gaslighting Listen, me. Listen, you can absolutely talk about how I'm gaslighting you in a second. Let okay, me just fine. shut the door. Okay. Jeez, the... Oh, to you, did not mean to. I did not mean to. when you did do not that. To. Totally. It totally ruins that... my flow. No offense to you're my amigo. <laughs> you're right. But like, it, when you see this dot here, sometimes you just want to click it. And then it's oh, just, yeah, she's I see a... it and I'm like... It's a clicker. She's a throbbing button. Um, It's nice that she's a button, you know? It's nice that she's a button. You're right. And I would say Logan and Jake Paul have met Mark McGrath. Mark McGrath, he's a huge fan. He definitely subscribes to them both. Huge neighbor vibes, too. You know, not one that would complain about them, but maybe one that would be sticking up for them in the HOA meetings or whatever. Certainly sticking up for them in the HOA meetings. Mark McGrath loves and loves to attend the the HOA meetings for the Paul brothers, (laughs) even though they don't live in the same apartment complex. (laughs) (laughs) He just likes to go in and give his two cents. Um, You're right. That's just classic That's Mark for you. He's such he a has giver. a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> You're right. I do. He's, he's been vaccinated does. through rich means for sure. Do you think we should start guessing um, which ones everybody has? Ooh, That's a fun one. That's fun. Okay, Logan Feels and like Jake a, probably they had they have Pfizer. 
They have big Pfizer energy, and so does that. Huge Pfizer energy. Oh, yeah. McGrath, too. McGrath, too. I Um, feel like McGrath couldn't even get rich means and was just kind of like hanging out in these CVS all day, waiting for a shot. Yeah, he was definitely waiting around, you know, just in case there were extras that night uh, at his local CVS, wherever that is. Which is Um, fine. No judgment. But he also, like, wore a long shirt to get his vaccine, and they were like, come on, bro. They're like, why are you wearing your gigantic Vans um, white shirt with the like so strange long. tribal print from the '90s down the side? Because that's his va- that's his that. that's his lucky shirt, you know. Um, lucky shirt. You're right. I'm happy. I'm happy that he got the Pfizer vaccine. Um, but you know <laughs> what? We he's, can agree. He's been due for his second dose, and he just has not showed up. Oh fuck! You're right. He That's would definitely mark. skimp on the second. He doesn't really care about the second. He doesn't. No, no, no. He thinks the first one probably like did him in. It, he yeah, really yeah. got sick. Oh, he his side effects were so so bad. His muscles aching. He could not aching. even strum the guitar for months. <laughs> oh my god! Sugar Ray all day in bed. In bed. And you know, not in our hearts. Oh. Simply in bed. <laughs> um. Do you have any good boys? Ugh, I guess just that I'm vaxxed, baby. I guess thanks to... Okay, you love being vaxxed. <laughs> I don't know. I had, it's like this dominated my week, I guess. Let's see. Any other good boys? I like boys? being vaxxed, too. Look. Oh, ooh. Do you? Uh, ha- here's a good boy. I like being vaxxed on the same day as Britney Spears. You got vaxxed on the same day as Britney Spears? Yeah, a huge claim to fame now. Wow. Congratulations to you. We'll post Britney's uh, vaccine <laughs> card. <laughs> We'll post yeah. back Britney's vaccine card in Wilmer Sliderama. Um, but not our own. Right. No, hell no. No. I put that thing directly like in the trash the passport. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, here, go here. I don't know. I'm, like, I'm not gonna need this. It. Um oh I'm yeah, I should this. actually I should actually put it there. Oh, a New York Times notification. Sometimes this is about a bad boy. And right, who fun. died? No, it's about golf. Um don't Fuck care. That. Um literally I've never cared less about something in my life. Imagine if it was like Logan Paul and Jake Paul both died. Oh. That'd be wild. Dream update? Dream of <laughs> <I am. laughs> I mean, <laughs> Undeniable donkey, but yeah. Also dream update. I mean, whatever. Let me give him a... a donkey? Yeah, a donk little tooth. donk. Who's your good boy? Do you love being vaxxed or what? I haven't really like experienced being vaxxed yet. Um, other than the side effects. Oh. Dream. Womp womp. Um, dream. But overall, no, no good boys this week. It was a pretty chill week, though, I gotta say. Pretty chill week. My name is Zoe Clare. It was a pretty week, chill week. week. Um, no complaints, really. So, okay, let's talk about TV talk. Oops. TV talk. Kevin's here. Kevin's here. Okay. So let's talk about, let's just talk about Law and Order Organized Crime because we already started, baby. Um, oh wow what was the company called again little we'll niblets it, it was like fake dip and dots <laughs> it was like dop and doodles or something okay if you're not watching law and order organized crime you're really fucking up it's good it's like it's it's good tv it has that it's like chris action movie. Ooh. Ooh. we'll put that in the slimy this <laughs> we way. are definitely was... putting that ass in the slimy nitro nibbles nitro nibbles <laughs> And did we end up? Did we end up posting the new the organized crime theme song in in Wilmer? No, I'm too scared to get us flag or renowned. Oh, you're yeah. right. You're I right. mean, I guess I could record it next time, like in the stories. I guess we'll just have to follow Bad Boy Podcast to fucking find out, and then probably on top of that, mm-hmm. subscribe to Story Alerts. Ew! Imagine me saying that. Imagine me going that far. Oh my to god! Say, subscribe, subscribe to, story to alerts. notifications. Who am I? Look, we're having a lot of fun with the slider function on Instagram oh, story, really and you don't want to miss one. If you miss one, I mean, you may as well just. What's going to happen? Kill yourself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Has Bikram gotten the uh, vaccine? No. No, certainly not. He's an anti vaxxer. Uh, anyway, Law and Order Organized Crime, so good. Um, it was really about stealing vaccines at the end of the day. It was. It was. I'm like, I thought that was a nice. A, a nice way to tie in IRL. Yeah, with it was organized good, crime scenes. It was a good little COVID update. Um, yeah, yeah. Basically, rich people were stealing the vaccines from the Harlem hospital. They really oh, drove wow. it home that it was a hospital in Harlem. Yeah, 
I mean, they did. I love they, those, they those really like did. definite moms that were waiting for their vaxes. They're just like, what oh, the heck? Yeah. We paid for these. I love that line or whatever she said. <laughs> that was perfect. That You could <laughs> have been moment. in that scene. That was really good. Thank you. What yeah. the heck? What the heck? And Chris Mullaney went undercover as a rich man. Mm. Um, but yeah, they needed the dip, the fake Dippin' Dots truck because it was cold enough to carry the vaccine. Weird thing that I noticed was that the ice cream truck was kept colder than the vaccines were. Mm. Email Diane if you thought that was weird. <laughs> wow, Detective Diane. <laughs> Detective Diane, yeah. She was she's when you're wearing it up. You didn't finish SVU, but that's fine. It was a weird episode that I did not like. I mean, I definitely I met the part where um I guess we're realizing that we didn't check the alibi and you know. Mm-hmm. There was a I mean, bad Lynch Arena, and that was yeah, fucking yeah, sad yeah, as hell. Yeah, and sad. like, there's some old pervert. Tell me, was it the sad old pervert? <laughs> Certainly, it's going to be the sad old man. It was not the no? sad old pervert. Which one is it? The so other the pervert? Prim- no, you you didn't you didn't meet him. Okay, you great. Him. Can't wait to meet this pervert. Um, yeah, it's it's not who you think. So the premise of this episode of SVU is that there was like a house full of perverts where like basically um, it was, the episode was <laughs> called it Pedo was, Motel. For it was all. called like Welcome to the Pedo Motel or like something's Jeez. happening at the Pedo Motel. Um, <laughs> it was basically sex offenders live in this house together and they yeah. uh, whatever. You, you get the vibe. They whatever. Um, they literally whatever. But all of the sex offenders were given like a a trait that we're supposed to feel bad for them for. Like one of them was in a wheelchair. One of them was like, yeah, sure. I diddled some kids, but now I'm in a wheelchair. Feel bad for me. One was very old and uh, deaf. And one was in love with his aunt, who was a larger set woman. I did not understand that guy at all. Yeah, there was something up. I mean, it was like, there's definitely no one here that is not just, you know, running a scary running the white perv. guy. Yeah. Yeah, it was, they, they shouldn't have tried so hard to make these perverts redeemable, but um, I don't know. I mean, the main guy, fine. Like, he was like, you know, classic 17 year old in love with a 15 year old scenario. Yeah. Tell us all this I mean, time it- in the Law and Order universe. They it, it, they really wanted to follow that trail so badly, but um. But you know what? Once you see who did it, it will all make sense. Oh wow! Can't wait to find out, baby. It's a real wow wow. It's a real wow wow. Um. Okay. What else happened? Uh. Nine Day Fiance. Don't even remember. Don't even remember. But we're going into the big tell. Oh, it's can't the wait tell-all. to see. I'm so excited what's, to see the gang. What's uh? What's that big anno- that annoying Andrew? guy? Uh. Ugh. Mike. Can't wait to see his. They're big all outburst. annoying. Andrew. Jovi. No, they're all annoying, but it's Andrew's outburst. The one that was yeah. like, Andrew. that's on like Reddit and has like an account that mm-hmm. just that's deleted Andrew. itself. I cannot that's classic wait. Andrew. Andrew Andrew's loves to really post about pop himself off. on Reddit. Although if I were on a reality show, it would be really difficult for me not to look at the subreddit. You're right. You're but, right. And I probably would participate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, but I wouldn't be as, be. I wouldn't be as obvious not about Zoe it. Not Zoe Clark? Yeah, it would have been not Zoe Clark. <laughs> Don't ask. Or like Zoe Clark, oh, yes. number one fan. <laughs> Zoe yeah, Clark is a good innocent. way to do it. Zoe Clark is innocent. Perfect. One one one. They're all perfect names. Thank one, you. One one one. No one will ever know. I really can't wait. Um. Okay. So solo TV talks. Um. Did you watch this as a robbery? You started it. I watched the whole thing, but like I was oh. just. I didn't love it. What? I loved it. it. Was, did you? Tell yeah, me why. it because it was a mafia. It was a mafia art heist. Okay, I mean, fine. I thought Whatever. it was a little dragged out. Okay, I, I mean, I'll give you that. It could have been three episodes, not four. A little shorter. Okay, yeah, yeah fine. Maybe, I'll give you that. Maybe I'll a give hot you that. three. I just thought it was three. an interesting story, and I liked that it was like definitely true crime, but it wasn't so. I mean, even though there were many grisly murders, it wasn't really about the grisly murders that and that I liked. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and I just like, I thought it was just an interesting look into, uh, what, like, I wouldn't know what people could use a painting for because you think about someone stealing like a priceless piece of art. That's like, whatever. I mean, it's not priceless. It's like $2 million, but you can't just sell it. So it it was interesting to see like, oh, you can use it as collateral to get out of jail or just as like a bar, a bartering tool in the globe. Um, 
I don't know. Whatever. Well, fuck that you. part is wild. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> no, Diane definitely. I mean, she's been collecting things for years for her yeah. eventual stint in jail for <laughs> all of her old crimes. She's got a lot. She's got a very she's, storied she's past. She's got a lot. She's got a lot, and she loves she's a good heist. The art she'll, she'll never say da- say no to a good heist. Yeah, she's got a stack of Dr. Seuss's that. Uh, oh, contraband. She's been saving. Baby. Mm-hmm, That's true. Mm-hmm. That's they some were just on shit. by Seuss, Zeus himself. Zeus himself. You're right. I'm also am watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians, the final season. So why are, why is this the big finale? I think they're For probably the going to start their own network or something. You know, like ah, oh, gee, they're okay. not done. But my guess is they're going to start their own streamer or like you know streamer they're gonna make so much more money if they just fucking do their instagram shit and like have a youtube channel yeah i'm curious that's you i know? wonder what the new frontier is for the big the big sisses i think they're all gonna have monetized youtube channels wow i mean uh, just a guess. I they guess all have so wicked... much money <laughs> a okay. wicked welcome to travis barker to the Oh, to Travis Barker Kardashian. Kardashian. I sort of like them together, Travis and Courtney. Is it cute? Okay. Well, I mean, good. they haven't for them. they haven't been on TV together yet. Oh wow! I can't but wait for saw, him to make his appearance. You Never. saw that he got her tattooed. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be into it. But I'm excited for like him and Kanye to get divorced. Like a lot's gonna happen this season. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess so. I guess so because it's gonna be 2020 end of yeah got it that's yep. cool and they're all sort that's of like quarantining there. together in malibu oh wow have you ever watched Plates kardashians <laughs> yeah. maybe at your house once or twice okay. i haven't Don't gone on my own me of... i'm not accusing i'm tarnishing I just never... you I, 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 uh, the kardashian person isn't for me do you know who addison ray is no. She's like one of the like she's maybe the second most famous TikToker other than that girl Charlie. Whatever. She was the girl who went on Jimmy Fallon a few weeks ago and did all those dances that she didn't invent and then everyone was pissed because they're like, Why aren't you letting black creators show their thing on Jimmy Fallon? And then Jimmy Fallon invited the creators on to do their dance. Damn, bad boy I did not know that. <laughs> um, oh, so wow. she's like she's probably twenty one and she's on this season of keeping up with the Kardashians because she's friends with Courtney, who's like forty something. And it's a weird friendship I don't understand. And it's like on the show, even like everyone is like, This friendship is weird. I don't understand it. Like there's so much time in between them. They were like wondering if they were weird. hooking up. I agree. No, that but is I think weird. I think Chris Chris is trying to be the momager for this TikTok star Addison. Oh, interesting. So Which maybe she's fine. being extra taken under wings. Yeah. But what does Courtney do for I mean, what does she do other than this? Um, she has like a mommy she has a website called Poosh, which is goop, but for moms. Poosh? Are you shitting me? I'm I could not shit you. Poosh. Got it. Okay. Oh, well, perfect. You, I guess we'll you, put the um, Poosh. Uh, logo and <laughs> Wilmer because I have to see it. Yeah, it's sort of what you imagine. It's a real poosh of a logo. Were you poosh. aware of all of the Chloe uh, Kardashian drama? No. What is the drama? The drama is that her grandmother MJ took a photo of her and posted it on the internet and she is like not photoshopped or airbrushed in the photo. And okay. she looks fine. I mean, like, she doesn't look like she does in the photos she posts because she airbrushes those photos and stuff. And so this photo made the rounds and Chloe got really angry and, like, started sending out, like, threatening to, like, threatening people <sighs> who, like, post the image, even though it's, like, I, mean, her... it's... I hope she sues her grandma. That would be That's... really funny. It's her grandma that did it? Her grandma that did it. it. Yeah. <laughs> her grandma did this to her. She didn't yeah. fucking realize. She was just like, I love my granddaughter. She was like, fuck you, grandma. But That's also, exactly what happened. World. This is funny. So there's this. So the they she tried Which to like wipe funny. the. Yeah, she tried to like wipe the picture from the Internet. But obviously, like once it's on the Internet, it's on the Internet. Um, and I don't know. Like, she looks good to me. She looks better than I do. I don't see what the big deal is. But, you know, she's obviously very specific about how about her image and how what's put out there on, online of her and stuff. But there was like this crazy, there was like this backlash because 
Chloe is sort of like all about body positivity, but then freaked out when this photo was put out there. And I don't know, like it, I, I do sort of feel bad. Not really. Ugh. I mean, it's, you can, I think you can be about bo- body positivity and also at the same time have anxiety about your body, you know? Also, it's like no matter what she does, she's going to be criticized. Like, not like I'm, yeah. you know, the biggest Kardashian apologist in the world. Um, and they have a lot of the commentary was like, you've contributed to this culture of like women hating their bodies. And, you know, the Kardashians are such a big part of like pushing whatever like body is best in that moment. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if in like 20 years, we some movie comes out about like the re- the untold story of the Kardashians. And it's sort of like how they were forced into this world at the same time. You know what I mean? Not like I really feel bad for them, but like I kind of do. I do agree. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to feel bad for rich people, obviously. Poor me, poor you. Right, Grew up in right. the spotlight, blah, blah, blah. Expected this, expected that by Hollywood. But at the same time, yeah, I mean, all subject to the same shit and it filters down. Yeah. So I, it's going to be hard to track to blame all of that on the Kardashians, guys. You really can't right. do that. Like they definitely... <laughs> You can't say they perpetuated stuff. I mean, you can do whatever the fuck you want with your body. I yeah. mean, you you can't you can't go on to say that, you know, someone's making you feel bad about your body just because they go and sculpt it in the way that they want to. Right. If you got money, I mean, hate them for the fact that they have that they waste their money on weird things. Yeah, and they definitely like weird. appropriate bla- appropriate black culture all the time and don't care and like sure they do Get all mad of, about that. Yeah, they do all of that stuff, but it's like they are also like women who have been scrutinized by the media their entire lives. Yeah, and even though and they do, whatever. I like I don't love them as people, and they do negative things to, they do bad shit all the time. But I do feel I do feel for them that it's like that they're so policed all the time. They truly are policed. Yeah. And, you know, there's not one person on earth that if with, presented with the idea of a Brazilian butt lift, <laughs> that they wouldn't fucking take it. So uh, you can uh, suck my ass um, entirely. Yeah. Diane is offering free Brazilian butt lifts if you give oh, us a five star yeah. review on Apple Podcasts. Um, she really is. Come yeah. to her tent. She loves just she, oh, popping she, a booty up a little. She'll pump that that's how you do it. booty up. Um, anyway, mm-hmm. so that was a real Kardashian's uh, rabbit holio. It was a real rabbit holio. But, that's fine. You know. you know, when there's when there's goss, there's goss. And then nice. you didn't watch RuPaul's Drag Race, but that's fine. Nothing really happened. And there's like the reunion next week and then the finale of the week after that. So we have some time there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the circle comes back this week. Not that you care, but whatever. Um, I do care. I do care. I want to watch the circle. I mean, it's almost okay. like watching. Okay. I don't know. I, I miss standing around. I, I, there has yeah. eh, eh, mm-hmm. there hasn't been as, as much good reality. I know. I know. Whatever. The, when ninety day fiance comes to a close and all they do is fight about whether or not they're getting married, it's just like, geez, Louise, guys. I hate the like the last like three weeks of ninety day fiance is also always so painful. I miss the doe-eyed couples. You and can finish. Are so you can feel, finish Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, though. Oh, was that a fun one? Yeah, you should just. I mean, okay. once you're done with Ninety Day Fiance, you may as well watch the season and see if you like it. Listen, what else? What else have I got to live for? Yeah, you have nothing else to live for. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> you're right. Any other TV talks? Will I? Um, I'm rewatching. Do you want? Have you? Did you? Did you? Did you ever watch the other two? Yes, I loved the other two. It's so funny. I'm. I'm it's so f- it's, it's so, so funny. funny. I was actually we're doing a. Uh, did I say this last week that I was rewatching Arrested Development? No, I say oh, some of a it's, few people are though because Jessica died, and it's like right. oh, I kind of want to. It medium stands up. There are definitely things where I'm like, oh, yeah. I feel like that's what everyone's saying. Yeah. Like, damn, the jokes are really from the time, and right? You're like, yikes. Well, that's not. Yeah, is it worth it. Th- for uh, me, there's for me there's like the nostalgia factor, like that I watch this. I guess it's still funny. There are the the lines or whatever. Yeah, they're the know. lines. Um, they're the lines that are funny and the lines that are ooh. okay. <laughs> so email Diane at badboypod dot com. Your bad boys on the block. Your good boys. Obviously, when you've almost made it to the toilet to vomit, then missed. If you had a barf <sighs> bucket know. growing up, how you think the barf bucket shaped your childhood or lack thereof? 
very barfy week for us, but we want to know, not for me personally, Whatever. though I will say, I mean, if we're talking Vax, uh, we weren't, but Vax yeah, updates. Yeah. Whatever. It made me feel a little <laughs> nauseous. Me too. Okay, good. I did not. Just checking. Look, I did not feel good. I did not, I did not feel good. <laughs> I felt like shit. I felt really like felt shit. Like shit. My I head really felt did. like a bowling ball. It, it was an unpleasant couple days. Um, I spent, I feel like I spent one day just like sitting there staring off in the space and the next day just like I can't even look at the light because my, my brain hurts. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't an ideal uh, week. Um. But hey, thanks Johnsons. Thanks, thanks to the Johnsons. Um, love your work. Johnson squared. <laughs> Shop at badboypod.com for a shirt. Uh, if you feel like it, and then that's really selling it. Follow us at Bad Boy Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. You why, know, why, 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 why not? Why not? You know. Um, and of course, uh, you know, subscribe to the Ho. Tell your friends to listen to the Ho. Mm. And by the Ho, yeah, I mean this. Send pod. that little linky. You. You can share it. You know, there's a little sharing link. Beep, share a link. Beep, Maybe just like post about it on your Instagram. Cheryl Link? Is that like <gasps> Merrill Link? That would that would be Merrill Lynch. Merrill Lynch. Got it. But Cheryl like Cheryl Link. Lynch would be a very, maybe I not. I mean, Cheryl Link definitely went to high school with Diane. And Diane and her did not have oh, a yeah. great relationship at all. They were not friends. <laughs> Mortal enemies. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Cheryl Link desperately wants to be the aunt of this podcast. But you know what? We're... We've only got space for one aunt, even though there's two of us. Aunt, I've never said it like that. That sounds very rich. Well, well aunt. <laughs> welcome to the dark email side. Email Diane how you say aunt. Uh, definitely email Diane how you say aunt. And um, that's really all I have to say about that. Um, would you ever go to the Olympics? No. Me neither. <laughs> Thinking about it, I don't really feel like it. Yeah, but if, interested. if I went, I would be a diver. Mm. Oh, you mean in that way? Yeah. <laughs> Not to just watch it? <laughs> well, that's what I thought you meant. No, the easiest way to... Because I'm all about to, being an athlete the, at this age. The easiest way to do it is to just become an Olympic athlete. You're right. That is a fast track to going to the Olympics. Yeah, so like, I'd say I'd be a natural gymnast. I think by, you know, yeah. just the way I am. Yeah, you could do like 17 I would say gymnast, cartwheels sure. in a row. A thousand, a thousand, a thousand. Car um, and I would in. definitely be in a really good, a really good diver, or maybe like a loser. <laughs> I'm a real loser. Oh yeah, I've pegged you for a loser even before <laughs> we knew each other. <laughs> I do have the ideal luge body type. Um, What's the one? Um, uh, is it just called high jump? Where you pull? No, pole vault. Oh, a little track and field I would event. Not- I don't think after my big J and J shot of Reno, I can ever pole vault now. I feel no. like they've ruined my chances for life. Yeah, no, no. The way no. that I feel. Yeah, no. They just the way. that's a side effect of the Johnson Johnson vaccine is after you do it, <laughs> you can no longer pole vault. It's true. It's tough. No, fuck that. Uh yeah, no, I don't think I would do a track and field event. Definitely losing or diving though. I could quick quickly pick that up before the next uh summer or winter games. I was gonna say I was gonna ask you if you were a runner or not, if you like or no you don't like running fast no i'd rather die i can't picture you running I'm trying to do you have um, any videos of you running no i can't run i suck at running i have bad feet <laughs> got it anyway uh email dan at badboypod.com rain review yada 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 and eat up buttercup i've definitely said that before it's just like whatever. i don't know okay Bra to you my latest <laughs> 